And hello, 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 welcome back to Sim Games TO, and we are going to be continuing our build of Saskatoon, Saskatchewan, and it looks like we are going to start by needing to fix the sewage problem in the city. That seems to have creeped up on us uh, while I took a break. So, let's go ahead and fix that up. That uh, is an easy fix. We will add in some sewage over here for people. One, two, three, four. And I will add in another water tower while we are at it because I know that we will need that too soon. There we go. And let's go ahead and connect it. There we go. Two, three, four. And to there. No, oh, there we go. Perfect. All right. So, let's take a look at how it's going. I guess that has cleared that problem up for us. And let's go ahead and continue to put in some more residential zoning as that is needed. And we will work on this area here really quick and then move on. The population is now just under 5,000. So the city is sprawling. Let's go see what schools are belonging into this area. So, let's search this area fast here. So we have the St. Francis school which goes at McPherson and Hilliard so McPherson and Hilliard there we have the St. Francis school let's go ahead and add that in and name it St. Francis school and there we go all right and let's uh, put in some, uh, before I put in residential, let's see if there's any park that goes in here. There is a park that goes in here. Uh, Thornton Park that goes in over here. So I will just go ahead and label that. And we will also make it momentarily. Let's just go ahead and add in some residential area here. I'll use the paint or fill in tool for that. And there we go. And all through there. Very good. Okay. And let's go ahead and put in the park. So I'll start with, uh, so it'll be just a regular city park. And I'll put a small main gate and two side gates just along here. And there we go. Let's connect these up. And there we go. Just like that. Let's see if I could fit one of those. No, I can't. I'm not, gonna, I'm not gonna be able to fit much in that small park, but I'll get a couple playgrounds and a couple gazebos in there. And people have to just uh, be happy with that. Two, three, four, five, oh, five. There we go. Wonderful. Okay, that gets us up to, um, well, it's still building the entertainment score. Let's give that a moment. So let's turn on Celebrate Night Tours and Info. Okay, so that'll bring us at least to a level two park. Um we don't have any level 5 parks yet, um, but 547, yeah, so that's a level 2 park, so it's above 420, below 720, so yeah, level 2, 1, 2, my cat, oh no, level 3, I think, 420, oh my, oh, I think it's, no, it's a level 3 park, because it's only going up to uh, 420 is the benchmark for um, a level 3 park or a 3 star park. Okay, and let's take a look at the city services here quickly. Um, okay, so we need a fire station here for sure. Let's get that in here somewhere. Let me put that right in here like that. And let's go ahead and name it. So this is going to be the Lorne and... Well, that's not the correct name. Let me just name that first. So that is going to be Taylor Street East and... This will be the Lorne and Taylor Street East Fire Department. Lorne and Taylor. I'll just leave it at Taylor. Fire. And we'll set that to random. Oh, it looks like nighttime's falling on the city. And let's take out some of these traffic lights. One, two. I wish there was a way to automatically do this. So it didn't automatically. I wish there was a way to opt out of them automatically being placed. But uh, there isn't. So we just have to manually go around and remove those. Okay. So there we go. That is done. So industrial demand is up again. And fortunately, we put in a 
some space for that, anticipating that. So let's go ahead and zone that as industrial. I, think I may put another road in here for industrial. Um, let me just go ahead and put in the road for that now. I'll use the dirt road again since it's not real life. I'll bring that to there. And I will bring that to there like that. And then that will be the other industrial way. Let me, let me just remove the traffic lights real fast. One, two, and three. There we go. Okay. There is the city so far. We've got 5,300 people now. Okay. So let me take a quick look at the commercial situation, the zoning situation. I will put maybe, actually, we'll put a commercial zone over here. It's also right next to the highway. Use the marquee to put that in. Just like this, and we'll take it from here as well. There we go. And we'll make that commercial. Oh, a couple houses leveled up. So Weaver Park's at, uh, Star 3 Park. These are all Star 2 Parks. That is good. And so 22 people traveled there to that one. 10 people at Weaver Park, 24 at John Lake. And that looks pretty good so far to me. Okay, so let's continue our build up to the north here. Uh, we've got those two roads. We've got uh, Wilson and McPherson in. So let's see what goes in uh, between Taylor and 8th Streets. Okay, so Taylor and 8th So this actually looks pretty simple. So we have 1st Street, 2nd Street, 3rd Street. Um, all the way to 7th Street, although we're not going to be able to have space for all those. Um, so let's just put in what we do have space for. Let's go back to Bike Road, which is my go-to road. And I just want to allow people to bike around, and it also reduces traffic in the city. It's a little more expensive, but it's uh, worth the trade-off as far as I'm concerned. There we go, and we'll bring it all the way to there. That's how it actually goes in real life. Uh, let's see the end here. I want to take a quick look here. Um, it does kind of, they do kind of end there okay so i will just bring them that far so that is first street and let's put in second street i think we have space for a third street and that's going to be it I'm definitely not going to have room for seven streets in here um there we go there we go and that'll be third street up here there we go. All right, so let's go ahead and name these. So this is first, uh, first street, first, oh no, oh, first street. Very simple. Uh, second street, and when we have third street, uh, third street. There we go, just like that. And let's see what runs up and down. Uh, so we have East Lake Avenue going to Taylor. Let's take a look and see how that works out. East Lake Avenue. So it actually runs up all the way to 8th Street, conveniently for us. So I will just extend that all the way up and go ahead and name it. There we go, up to there. Perfect. It's an easy block to make. And let's see how it runs in here between Broad, Broadway Avenue and Clarence Avenue. So Broadway and Clarence. So we have lands. So we have basically just three roads that run through here. And we have a 12th Street. 12th Street. Oh, we will not be able to put in 12th Street. We do not have room for 12th Oh, do we have room for 12th Street? Uh, no, we don't. So I will just bring those up to there. Uh, am I in the right block here? Uh, Clarence and Broadway. Uh, Clarence and Broadway, yeah. Albert Lansdowne Dufferin. Lansdowne. Oh, I just didn't name them. That's why. That's why they're not named. Well, gosh. Uh, I guess I should name them then. So, so we know where we are. So we have Dufferin, Lansdowne, Albert. Dufferin. Okay. So simple as this. Duff, uh, Dufferin. 
Uh, lands down. Oops. Yeah. Fix that. And no. Oops. Remove and straight. There we go. And this one also. Oh, Al is it Albert Street? Which one is the one that keeps going up? Um, Albert Street. So Albert Street actually stops there and it continues up, which is fine. I'll just put it in. Okay, so that is Albert Street over here. Albert Street. Whoops. Street, okay. And we'll just extend the names of these ones. Uh, this is Lansdowne. We'll just extend that all the way up to there. And we have Dufferin that we're also going to extend all the way up to there. And then I'm going to also extend the names of these streets as they should be, which I forgot to do. And extend their names all the way up to the top. Just like that. And with that, we are done that part. So that is all done. Um, I think I should, we'll put some more residential in around here, build this up a little bit more. Let's see if there's a park or anything that goes in there that I am missing. So um, so where, where is this exactly? This is at the intersection of Cumberland and Wilson. So Cumberland and Wilson. Okay, there we go. Got it. Uh, there, there will be no park. Uh, that is all residential. Um school we already have there so I pretty much have everything that we need in there let me just go ahead and zone it up now let me use the fill tool residential fill there we go and let's go ahead and put these in here okay and I will put uh, I will make that, that residential and that will be residential and these will actually be commercial. There we go. And I will make this, these two, actually all three will be residential as such. And I wouldn't be surprised if we need EMS again. Oh, that's crematorium. So that's death care. So let's switch over to medical. Um, yeah, we're probably going to need one up here. So I'm going to go ahead and put one over here. And we will call this the Taylor and Clarence EMS. Taylor and uh, Clarence EMS. Okay, and switch that to random. There we go. And how are we doing for fire? Um, okay, so we should put one, one fire station in here. Well, let's find a good location for it. That's a good location. So that will be the um, Cumberland and Wilson Fire. Cumberland and Wilson Fire. And oh, I'm going to set that over to random. Okay. And let's move on here and see. Okay, so that area is going to be ready for development. Um, let me just take a look if there's any parks that will go in here. Uh, let's go take a look at Google Maps real fast. Let's see if there's any parks. Uh, so 8th and Victoria, we have the Bona Vista Park. So 8th and Victoria. 8th, so we have Victoria and 8th. So we have the Bona Vista Park. I will make that over here. Actually, it's supposed to be here in real life, but I'll put it over here because there's more space. So there we go, just like that. And that'll be the Buena Vista Park. Buena Vista Park. There we go. And let's see what schools come into this area. And let's do a search. Probably end up uh, putting a small school in here. Oh, there's the Buena Vista School uh, right at uh, Lorne and 3rd Street in our case. I'm not sure if I'll be able to fit it in. Um, I may scoot it over a little bit. So we have, yeah, okay. I'm going to put it just over here. There we go. So that'll be the Bona, Bona Vista School. I'm not sure why it's called Bona Vista. There's no road by that name. 
here. Not as far as I can see. No, but that's what it's called. Okay, so let me go ahead and put this part together or create this part. And let me see, uh, small main gate is going to go here. And then we're going to have side gate here and side gate there. And then let's path it together. So there and there. And I'm not going to be able to fit anything big in this one either. So I'm going to go with the small things that are of higher, more significant value. So I'll put two parks in there. I will put the restroom in as well. Uh, let's put in the restroom first. Since that's gonna, that is more fussy with space. There we go. Okay, fit it in there just like that. And then we're gonna put in some green gazebos in this one. We used uh, the brown ones in the others. So let's go ahead and fill that in. There we go. And like that. And that's pretty full. And Entertainment 573, let's turn on the policy of Celebrate and Night Tours. So we get fireworks, and it's open at nighttime as well. And let's see where we are with Entertainment 573. So that could become a level 1, 2, no, level 3 part perhaps at best, I think. Either level 2 or level 3 part. I'm going to double check that. I believe it's level 2 at 4, so it becomes level 2 at 220, level 4 at 420, uh, level 3 at uh, 420, so level 3 park actually, that's what it can get to, that's its potential. Okay, we've got a bit of commercial demand building up on us, and I can certainly add some commercial areas in here, like this. Uh, I will make that commercial as well, this is a good place for commercial, trucks can easily come through there and I will mm, I will wait a moment with here but I will start populating this with residential zoning there we go just like that there we go and I may keep that for commercial Okay, so there we go. That is all in. And let's look at some city services. I think I will put in a road maintenance um, station for people. So for the week, so we'll go with this. Uh, we'll go with this one from the Steam Workshop, the cheap one. Um, I will put that in some somewhere along here. Uh, finding a good place for it somewhere central but not where it's in the way hmm this is actually not a bad area right there okay that's gonna be the uh, Queen we're moving to the Queen Elizabeth area so this will be the Queen Elizabeth um, road maintenance that's what it will be called so Queen Elizabeth Road Maintenance. There we go. All right. So that's all coming along. So let's see what other roads are going to go into this area here. I'm going to start building up this area. I'm going to start moving to the east over here, filling up this area. I think that that will be coming next. Oh, we got some worker shortage. You know what? Since we have a worker shortage, I think there is a residential area that goes down below here called Stonebridge. Preston Avenue goes to Stonebridge. Okay, so where is Preston Avenue? This is Preston Avenue? Okay, so this actually comes down. So I think that I'm going to make this area so that we have more people closer to work over here. So let me go to bring this down. And that actually comes to about there. And it kind of it's kind of like a circular thing that comes around here. Um, let's see how that goes exactly. Now, so the Alexander McGilvery Young Park. Uh, but more importantly, uh, we have a circular area here. It goes around, so I'm going to kind of make that. 
I'm going to do a while. Put that in here. Perfect. And there we go. Just like that. And I will bring it down. Oh, I'll use a straight line for that. Just like that. And I will actually just curve this. I'll use move it to curve it a little bit so that we get more or less aligned road there. And let's bring it down. Okay, that looks about right. Okay, then it just co comes around. There we go. And there we go. Almost perfect. I will use move it to make it look perfect. Give the illusion that it's perfectly uh, symmetrical. Okay, that's about right. That's about how that goes. And let me actually make this into a district on its own. So this will be the Stonebridge district. Let me just paint that in and use the large fill tool here. So that will be the stone bridge. There we go. Just fill that in. All right. So that will be the stone bridge district. There we go. All right. So we will start with um, the stone bridge boulevard that goes to Melville Street. So Melville Street is actually over here. Then we will have that come to inside here and cross right through. So let's go ahead and put that in. And that will be straight line. And just like that. And like that. That will be Stonebridge Boulevard. Okay. Stone. Bridge uh, Boulevard. Okay. And off of Stone Bridge, we have a couple of lanes over here that come through that we can put in here. So this is actually like a commercial area, but I might make it just residential because it's what we need. I'll put some commercial in here along the main road. <coughs> um, but to the inside, I'm going to use uh, residential. So let me take a look here. And uh, so we have Cope Crescent. It comes down. So let's put in Cope Crescent. These are smaller. These are going to be smaller roads. So we'll put in Cope Crescent to there. And it comes like this. And then it comes back. It becomes Cope Way. And then there's William Lane that comes through over here. Okay. So we have William Lane. Lane. And we have Cope Crescent. Or is it, which is this called? This is, uh, yeah, Cope Crescent. Cope Crescent. Crescent. Oh, look, we've already got a lot of traffic using these roads. Cope Crescent. Uh, yeah, just like that. Okay. And so I'm going to put in one more road that comes in here, and then I'm going to make the residential area for it. I'm putting the city services, rather. So this is Cornish Road that comes around here. So I'm going to put that in. That's a main road. So there, I'm going to use, it's going to curve around. So there. Uh, there we go. And straight to there. Okay. So that is Cornish Road. Cornish Road. And then there's some small streets as well. So 
we could start actually uh, so Galloway uh, that is e yeah okay no that's fine so we have Galloway coming down and that is gonna curve right into this crescent here now to there and to there okay and this is called Galloway Road Galloway Road okay and we will have Macintosh that will come right through actually I'm gonna that's a little bit more detailed I'll get back around to that let me make the uh, crescent here so there's uh, Dolmich uh, see what is this called there's Dolmich Crescent, Willis Crescent. I'm, sure I'm, gonna, I'm gonna do Mac, you know, I'm gonna go with Macintosh first because it just runs all the way through, so that's an easy one to do. Um, Macintosh from there. So Macintosh just comes through like that. Okay, so let me go ahead and put Macintosh in. To there, like that. And up on top, turns into Willis Crescent. There we go to there. So that is Macintosh. Macintosh, like that. And there's another road that comes in. So we have Dolmage Crescent that will start from the main road and can I will take it from there instead there we go that is called Dolmage Crescent Dolmage Crescent and over here we have uh, Lewin Way. We have Lewin Way that comes through. Mm, we'll just have Lewin Way come over here. Lewin Way, and such. And we have Martin Crescent that is connecting them. Okay, like that, and Martin Crescent. There we go. Okay, so this neighborhood is coming together. There's another crescent that goes down here. Um, Blackstock Cove. So Blackstock, Blackstock Blackstock, Blackstock Cove. Ah, we already have the first part named Blacks, Blackstock Cove. Okay. Uh, so in here, we're going to have the Alexandria McGilvery Young Park. I'm going to just put it in the you know, park area there. Ah, Mr. Vesper, good day to you, sir. Doing very well. How are you? Good to have uh, you along. Thank you for coming in. So, this park is just gonna. Actually, I'm gonna put the park up. I think I'm gonna worship the park up or down, or well, you know what? I'm gonna keep it down because we're gonna have a whole area there. So, I'm gonna put that in here and I'm gonna go ahead and name it. And that'll be Alexandra McGilvey Park. Let me just grab the name because that is a tougher one to spell. So that will go here. So, um, Vesper, uh, what I am working on today is actually making the city of Saskatoon in Saskatchewan. So that is up in the prairies of Canada. It's uh, fairly, it's a mid-sized city. It has a population of about 275,000 people. And I am just going street by street 
uh, park by park, um, area by area, um, to some real world likeness of the city. I won't say one to one built, um, just because this, I think, will offend too many people that do detailing. But it is still real life based. Um, yeah, I've uh, I, I've made several cities. Um, I do. That's I pretty much exclusively just make uh, real real life Canadian cities. Um, I have a YouTube channel, and on there I have all of my builds. Um, I'm using Google Maps. I just simply go back and forth between Google Maps and uh, see what's there, and then put it in. Uh, it takes some getting used to, but it's uh, once you get used to it, it's okay. It's not a big deal. And um, it's uh, pretty interesting and more, ch more challenging and more interesting at the same time. Okay, so that is in there. I don't have residential building up on me too much just yet. So I think that I'm going to turn my attention to putting some more commercial into this area here. Let's put those as commercial areas. Um, I think that will be welcome in the area as well. So that is commercial. Okay, just like that. But what I am going to do is put in the city. So how much are we making? 9,600. So we are actually making quite a bit of money in the city. So I am just about prepared to go ahead and put in. That's a weird looking neighborhood. But that's pretty much how it is in real life. Let me just double check to make sure I got it about right. Um, yeah, that is about right. It is about right to how it's supposed to be. So then we have uh, Vic Boulevard that goes along. We have Hart we have Hartley up here. I'm trying to just look at how the roads come. A little more complicated on the downside. Okay. So, uh, I'm going to go ahead and start... Um, <laughs> Right. Yes, does. Okay, so let's take a look here. Um, city services, uh, I will start with uh, a school actually that will go in here. Let's see what school goes in here. Chief Whitehap School. Chief Whitehap. Uh, Chief White Cap School. Okay, so that go, that's what goes in here. Uh, Richview Public School. I'm going to put a rather larger school in here, I think. 400. And instead, oh, you know what? Let me get some background music going here. Uh, official Mars Radio. There we go. And then let's get back to the school business here. So, um... 1,000, but that is a high school, so no thank you, no thank you. Elementary school, 400, 600, a little better, 700. I think that's more of what I'm looking for to put in here. School of 700 people. And that is going to be called the Chief White Cap School. Chief White Cap School. Okay, so that is in, and fire service, I will put those along, actually I'm going to put along this street over here, fire service, and I'm going to put EMS as well in here. Yeah, it definitely does, if you have, the, that's the that's the drawback of um, using the uh, Xbox to play cities, is that you can't put mods and assets into it, and it makes a very big difference when you're playing the game. Uh, it does give you way more options. The only thing that you could do with that Xbox is put in the DLCs, and, well, those won't really always get you through and give you everything that you want. I have, a, I have when, you, when you have PC, you could do both, and I'm using basically everything. I have assets, mods, and I have all the DLCs except for the Natural Disasters DLC, because I just will not be using it. So we're going to call this the Stonebridge Fire. Stonebridge Fire, and 
random, and then we're gonna have uh, Stonebridge EMS, EMS there, and that will be random as well. Okay. So let me just remove all the traffic lights. We don't need them. There we go, just like that. And moving along here, let's remove these as well. And yeah, yeah, that is that is. That, I think that's the only upside of having Xbox is you could uh, drive yourself crazy uh, around the city, knock yourself out with all the vehicles and drive around. That is pretty cool, though. I must admit, uh, but we don't have that mod for PC. And I'm kind of, uh, and I kind of wonder why it, it doesn't seem to make much sense to me. I don't understand why they'd have that for Xbox and not for PC. Why not just have the same thing for both? Um, Chief Whitecap School. Okay, so that is there. Services are in. Uh, I am planning the routes pretty well. So I started off by making the highways. So basically, in general, so we've got so the map comes with like some of the highways that um, are there in real life. Um, I did have to work and remake some of these highways that run through, but I am planning it with the highway in mind. I always put industrial zones and uh, I try to put uh, the commercial zones um, along the highway as well. Not necessarily, I, I, like the commercial is not such a big deal. I mean, you know, the trucks will drive through the city and need to, they need to make their deliveries throughout the city. Um, but I will put the commercial zones um, on the main roads. Um, and then just leave the residential as residential areas, and then the trucks just use the main arteries to get arteries to get through. Um, but I do specifically uh, do my best to get the industrial area next to the highway, so that we don't have um, trucks going through the city, and that they are really not limited to the highway area, but they are close to the highway area so that they can have that easy access in and out of the city. So, But I do make a conscious point of uh, planning it to be that way. And as you can see, like I do have uh, a pretty good high net highway network going around in the city. Uh, but uh, it's, it is noteworthy to point out, though, that when you do follow real city builds, you tend to actually have a good, pretty functioning city because most of the, mo most of the time, um, the cities are planned out pretty well. Um, Yeah, I, you know what? I'm I'm a little surprised uh, sometimes uh, that people get by on the consoles, on their Xbox consoles. Um, I suppose if you're just playing a vanilla game, which is all you can play on a uh, console, um, that you could actually um, succeed. It's certainly more challenging, um, but it does force you to use the vanilla game uh, for better or for worse. Um, but I, I, I would certainly not um, personally. I, I, I would I would only play it on PC for the benefit for the benefit of the mods and the assets, which really got me much more interested in the game. Um, Pittsburgh. I, I was thinking. I was thinking of um, making U.S. cities. The issue is the what the 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 main thing that stops me, and I, and I'm not ruling it out, but. Um, I, my assets are all Canadian, so I have the Canadian and everything. Now, to do an American city, I don't have to, have to get American assets for it, like American cars, American buildings, that kind of stuff, um, to do that. Um, and I would have, have to kind of make that switch a little bit, or pivot. Uh, but I very well could. Um, there are several American cities that would be very interesting to make. Okay, so we've got commercial coming up again. So I need to put in some more commercial zoning. Let me take a look. I'll use the marquee tool to go ahead and draw some of that in here. Um, I hope that for the moment that will be enough. We may put some, you know, put some in here as well. Nice and close, closer to the highway. Okay, so we've got residential coming up on us again. Again, and uh, I will put in the industrial area here uh, since we're going to grab that. Let me just fill in. I'm going to put these in industrial zoning since that is going to 
that demand will also ine inevitably um, come up on me again. Whoops, I missed one. There we go. Okay. So I think this is a good time to start putting in um, some residential zoning here. I'm not sure if there's a high school that comes in here, but it'll be nice if there is one because we will need it. I'm going to start filling this in over here. And how's the worker situation? Okay, so we, we've actually leveled that off, so we're not short of workers at the moment. But I'm so glad that I came here because we will have to come to this part of the city as well. Can't leave it empty. There we go. Um, I'm kind of divided between commercial or uh, residential. I'm going to put residential all along here. I'm going to put re uh, commercial along the main road. So we'll just fill this in with the residential area over here. Just like that. And there we go. Okay. And I'll put some down here as well. And I'll just grab these couple left. Okay. So that's it for that. I will make the uh, Alexander McGalvery Young Park. And this, for sure, we will be able to get to a level 5 park because we're going to be... It's, it's much larger, and we're going to have the space for that. So I'll put a main, uh, small main gate there. And a couple of side gates around here. I'll put one down here as well. Uh, and then we're going to make it like an X configuration. I will bring these across to each other like that. To there. And then that to there. Um, you know what? I'm going to fix it. I want to make this look a little bit nicer. Let me bring it down to there. Move it. Uh, just a little bit further. There we go. And that'll, that looks pretty symmetrical to me. So, more appealing to the eye as well. So, I'm going to start with four park plazas. Right in here in the center. And I th I'm sure that we're going to be able to have room to make this a level five park. Let me just, I, I'm going to bring the pathway around and up here so that we do have the room for sure that way. There we go. And just like that. Now let's put in some, let's put in a couple of chess boards up here. One, two, and a couple of playgrounds. Put one and two. There. Yeah. Then that looks half decent. Uh, so what level does that get us to? Entertainment 646. Let me turn on the policies, night tours, and celebrates. Uh, I really do want to get this park to 1120 so that it could eventually become a level 5 park. It would be the first time in this build that we've been able to do that. Um, trampoline parks, that's what we don't have here. And then I'm going to add in the other amenities as well. So let's put two trampoline parks. I'll keep that symmetrically looking. And I am going to put in the other park amenities. Um, park restrooms I will put in. The info booth, we will... Actually, the info booth should probably go over here. This is it's probably more appropriate at the front of the park. Which that's what it looks like to me. That's what it is. So, park cafe here. Then let's see what that gets us to. So, entertainment 856. I think it'll climb on us. Yeah, there we go. 906. Um, I might just have to put in just a, a little more pathway. Um... Let me let me let me try this. Let me put in the path to go up to there. I'm putting a little more pathway so we get out a couple more things. Let's try this. Um, that'll probably work. And we'll bring another one up to there, and then I will add in another side gate up here, and another one over here. And I'll just connect the paths in. There we go, and there we go. Um, I'm going to just move them over a little bit, hope, they, hope they're straight, there we go, and I'll do the same thing for this one, there we go, just like that, perfect, so now I've got a little more space to put in a couple more things so that we can bring up the entertainment value, it's 921, so I think that what I will put in is put in a couple more playgrounds. Those usually have higher value, I think. One and two. And let's see how that works for us. 
So that brings us to 1071. We're almost there. We're almost there. Um, I will put in some gazebos then to fill in the rest of the, some of the space here. So let me try that out. Let me put gazebos along this side. Just along this side because it'll make it look a little more even since it's a bit lopsided. There we go. I think that looks okay. Looks pretty full. And um, twelve fifteen. Yeah. No, no that part. Uh, this this one uh, ended up looking a little bit better than the others. The others were pretty small. Um, it couldn't fit much in. So we're up to a, an entertainment score of twelve fifty. We need eleven twenty to make it a level five park. So as soon as people start visiting it, and we meet the pop of the visitors criteria, uh, it, that will become a five-star park. Um, that will definitely add value to the area. So we've got people moving in already. I think I'll have to put some commercial in here for sure. Um, some local commercial stores for people to be able to come to. So let me get those in here. There we go. Just like that. That I will actually leave for residential. Oh, no. Uh, residential. There we go. I might put, might sprinkle some commercial along here. And we've got that going. So, let's see. Uh, try to make a uh, Yeah, sure I have. Uh, well, uh, um, I have, in some sense, I've made some rural, uh, rural areas, um, because the city, so when you when you get to the outskirts of the city, it becomes more rural a bit, um, I have, but I also have made cities that are a little bit smaller, so I've made cities that are between, that are around populations of about 10,000 people, that's pretty rural, um, so yeah, I, I have, um, but I usually concentrate on the larger cities. Um, once we get to the outer skirts of the, the city, um, those usually tend to start to become rural anyways. Okay. So we go, that is done. So how are we doing for entertainment? Uh, those people are lacking some entertainment in this area. So let me go ahead and put in a, uh, something for them. Let's, let's put in, uh, where is it? Uh, st uh, maybe a luxury park is a better idea. Maybe put in a luxury park. A no, luxury, luxury playground, rather. There we go. Let's put that in there instead. And let's see how we're doing for... Uh, oh, that's... Uh, yeah, we could probably use something in here as well. Let me put in a subway here. And that will bring up the land value in that area. A little bit. There we go. I'm put another subway in here. And that will help that area out. Now, I do want to put some entertainment in here because I do want these to level up uh, sooner rather than later. So I'll put in a few over here. Um, where else could I fit one? Well, I'm going to have to move a few buildings to fit it in. But that's okay. I right, will do that. And there we go, they're all turning to light blue. Fantastic, that looks much better. Okay, and I will put another uh, subway actually over here on the corner to give this some entertainment, help that level up a bit perhaps. Okay, so that is a little bit better. Okay, so I'm gonna just continue making the Stonebridge area here. So I'm going to look, take a look at what, what roads come around here. So we have Hunter. Uh, uh, okay, I'm going to start with Vic Boulevard, actually. So Vic Boulevard. Um, is that a main road? It is a main road. So I'm going to use main road for it. Um, take it from over here. Up to there. It kind of turns a little bit, squeals down. And then there's a highway entrance. So it kind of comes like this and then like that. Then there's a highway entrance, uh, well, interchange that takes place over here, which I'm going to go ahead and put in. So that'll give access to the area. Well, better access to the area anyways. There we go. Could it work? There we go. Got it. And then back down. 
And let's put on put in the on ramps. Uh, we'll put them in with sound barriers because I think there will be commercial area close to it. There we go, just like that. And this street is called uh, Vic Boulevard. Just like that, Boulevard. Okay. And now it's time for the other road that I want to put in. So another major road. Um, Hunter Road that goes up and around and down. So let me go ahead and put that in. Use the squiggly tool. Okay, and then it, oops, start that again. There we go, and up. And it kind of goes around and down. And it turns in. Uh, comes in and then like that. Okay, there we go, just like that. Hmm. How much progress have we made? So this city, I actually started this city two and a half hours ago, three hours ago. How long have I been streaming? Three hours, just over three hours. So just three hours ago. Um. So population now is just shy of eight thousand. Um, so that's where we are. So the whole city, I mean, the whole city, when we look, the whole city is going to be this big, right? So I started off in the southeast. Um, like I said, I started with the highways to get this area going. Um, and I filled this in, uh, so far. Uh, but these are all like real world based roads. So this is all, if you look at, if, if you look at a map on Google of Saskatoon, you can, can kind of see this shaping out. Like it kind of, you'll, you'll be able to see its resemblance to how it really looks and all the roads are named according to what they are in real life so that is actually wilson avenue that is actually clarence avenue etc 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 um we've also got real school names so that's uh George, george's vanier uh secondary so i also use real school names as i'm going uh, so everything is actually named all the parks are real life locations and names as well um yeah, so that's that's as far as I've gotten so far today. Uh, but I mean, I just started the city today, so I mean, it's it's going to be a while still until I finish it. So a city like this, this city has a population of two hundred and seventy-five thousand. I'll probably get to around two hundred thousand, um, and that'll probably take me about twenty hours, twenty twenty-five hours, give or take. And yeah. So, no, so we're up to 8,000 and we've got the commercials building in and I'm going to take a look at here. No, so the, to, uh, the topography, um, so the map, so, so there's two ways, there's two different answers for that. So the map pretty much is, so it's like this, I'd say it's about 85% accurate. Um, actually there's not two different answers. It's one answer. Um, but the city is also 85% accurate. I would say, because since the topography, since the map is not 100% accurate, it does cause me to kind of have to deviate from some, it, it causes me to not be able to make it 100% accurate for that reason, but it, it's very close. And I do kind of play around with it. So like I do a little, you know, quote unquote magic with it and I kind of just play with it to make it look real, even though make it look like it's supposed to even though it's not necessarily exactly how it's supposed to be but it's it's pretty close let, 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 let's put it this way it's about as my, my city building skills are about as accurate as the map is <laughs> i did do a map um, of another city where the river was just kind of bent at the wrong place and i had to kind of work around that as i was making the city because the alternative is is that i could redo the map and i just don't want to get into that i just want to build the city and i kind of just you know play with tweak it a little bit right but i mean you know it's understandable i, I kind of make I, I i want to strike a balance between making like a real life city and actually playing the game so um yeah that's just that, that's that's how I do it, but but it's pretty but it's pretty close. It's pretty close to its likeness. I mean, if you actually make like a real life city, you, you're you're talking about spending months on end on making it, and it's, you know, I and, and at that point, the problem is you're not playing the game anymore, right? 
So I, I kind of want to get the balance between the two. And I, and I try to just strike that balance. Okay, so um, this area. Let's get this other road here. So this is Hartley Road. It comes on top, curves up into it. Hartley Road goes in here like that. So let's go ahead and put that in. I'll use my go-to bike road. And I'm going to use straight line to bring it out. There we go. And then I'm going to use the curvy tool to bring it up. Curve it. And then it will go straight. What days do I know? I don't have, you know, I don't keep a schedule. Lately, I've been able to stream more often because I've had more time. I run a business, so I have my busy times and my less busy times. Um, I try to stream two, three times a week. I, I, I'd be lying and misleading you to give you exact days and times. <laughs> um, but I mean, all the content, like I, I, I do live stream regularly. Um, typically, I would say if it, typically I would say weekends and Mondays, Wednesdays around that time is probably best for me. Um, I but all the content is on YouTube, so I do actually save all the episodes and then they go up on YouTube, and then you could actually watch the city being built from start to finish. And I do it. I try to keep it in that chronological order, and. I work on two or three cities at a time. So right now, so this is Saskatoon, and right now I'm also working on Ottawa and Toronto. So this is actually the smaller city that I, I decided to just pick up today. Um, it, it's it, it's in the link. If you go to my account, so if you go to, uh, if you click on my profile, uh, there's a link there to my YouTube channel, and um, you'll be able to find it that way. It's also called Sim Games TL. So there we go. Uh, so let's get back. So naming the streets. So that's gonna be Hartley Road over here, and Hartley Road. There we go. And let's see what else is gonna come. So I'm gonna build the lower part here, Long Lai uh, Way, which looks very interesting to me actually. Long Lai, Long Lai. I'm gonna build this road segment down here. That looks very interesting to me. Let's bring it around. Um, I'm going to do halfway and then halfway and that's how it comes like that. Oh, beautiful. Not perfectly symmetrical but close enough. Uh, yeah, man, go for it. Uh, yeah, I appreciate it. And they're just uh, they're just basically Canadian city builds start to finish. Um, okay, so let's see, uh, so this is called Lang Lua Way. Yeah, it is, uh, so I do segment uh, the videos and I do put, kind of make them like, uh, there are some videos that I will make as a bit uh, like a tutorial style video, like if I'm building an airport or industrial area, industries or, um, like just if there's a specific, um, if it's about something specific, um, then I will make the video about that specific thing. Um, and I kind of make it into like a tutorial kind of guide for how to kind of plan and make things um, as well. So yeah, it's kind of a bit rolled into one game playthrough and a bit tutorial tutorial style videos. Some of, some of them will be. But the majority of them are obviously just building neighborhoods because that's uh, mainly what the game is about. So, yeah. Okay, so Long Long Way goes around there, and then there's two roads that come in there at the bottom. So, uh, actually, there's three. They're all called Long Long Way, so I don't have to do too much thinking about what to name them. Okay, here we go. There we go. And let's get this one as well. Two and three. Okay. And this is all long lot way. They're all called the same name. Oops. There we go. And let's see over here. Long lot way. And here as well. Long lot way. There you go. Okay. So that looks 
about in quotations, right? Mm. Um, let's see here. So we got Shell Crescent. Let me use this. Shell Crescent. Okay, Shell Crescent, and this will be good because it will be right next to the school and the park. So that is good, and we're going to have um, Langla Rise. Okay, so this there's another word that comes out here. Langla Rise to there. Then it goes up and over to Alice. Okay. Alice comes from there. To there, to there, and goes right into there. Okay, so let's go to name those. So this is going to be Langwa Rise, Langwa Rise, and this is going to be. Uh, oh, that turns into Alm Crescent. Oh, I don't need to put that in. Okay, so no, it's going to be the. It just changes name, so that's fine. Uh, a, a Sally Streets. So we have a Sally Street. And then we have um, Robertson Crove, which is up on top. Robertson Crove. Okay. So I'm going to put that in. So I was going to go here, here. And it actually goes on top as well, conveniently. Then we can make that in one swoop like that. And there we go. And so Robertson Cove. Robertson Cove. There we go. And we have Dickinson Crescent. You know, Dickinson Crescent that runs to there. Okay, Dickinson Crescent. Okay. And so what comes to the site there? So we've got some uh, Whaley Crescent. So we've got... Mm, that's an interesting road design they have here. Okay, Rempel Crescent. Uh, Rempel Crescent. Let me just put that one. So Rempel... Let me move it over a little bit. Mm, maybe I don't have space for it, actually. Let me put it here. There we go, and then we're going to use Curvy Tool to bring it around and around. There we go. So that is going to be uh, Rempel Crescent. Let me just fix that a little bit. So, okay, Rempel, Rep, Rempel Crescent, Rempel Crescent, and I'm going to use Move It to go ahead and fix this a bit. I'm going to draw it out. I'm going to draw a little space there. No, 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 no. Oh, there we go. There we go like that. Let me just bring this out a little bit. We got it to look a little bit better. There we go. There we go, just like that. It looks a little bit better already. No, somewhat better. There we go. And let me curve that a bit and curve that a bit. So that's about right. And okay, so then there's another crescent. Uh, this one's easier to put in. So when this one's Whaley Crescent, and this one is going to be over here. Uh, let me. No. Really press it. There we go. That's no, not quite there. Ah, there we go. That's more like it. So that is Whaley Crescent. Mm. Whaley Crescent, as such. Okay. And, um,. So we got residential coming up on us again. So let me go and put some more residential in. I could put them in the park as well. We could fill up that area with some houses. And I will fill all this area in with residential zoning. 
here as well. Actually, um, might leave some for commercial development. Um, well, let me just get around this area here. Oh no, that I actually saved that for commercial. Um, I did want to leave that for commercial. So let me see. Uh, this area down here will for sure be residential. So let me fill those in as residential zoning. Okay, we'll alleviate that demand for the moment and get that going. I'm going to get back to finishing off this neighborhood. There we go. And come on, there you go. Okay, so this will actually become uh, commercial. So these, I will make these commercial along the way here. Uh, not that big. I'll probably use the uh, marquee tool to fix that later. Okay, that's good enough for now. So, how many people have we got living in the district? 700, only 788 so far. Okay, um, so let's see what other rows are going to come in here. So I have uh, Teal Crescent. Um, okay, before I get to that... Um, so I have Milne Crescent actually here. So I'm going to put that in. So this is Milne Crescent. So that is going to be uh, Milne Crescent. Milne Crescent. And over here, I'm going to have uh, Warder Crescent. Cove, in a straight line for this one. Oh, we go like that. That is going to be Warder Crow, Warder Cove. There we go. Okay. So let's see below that. It's going to be Teal Crescent. Okay. The teal Crescent actually just keeps on going down. So, Teal Crescent goes down and circles around. Okay, so it's kind of, kind of goes down to there. And then there's like a crescent around the end. Okay, there we go. So, this is going to be um, Pringle Qua. Pringle Qua, that is the name of that street. Okay. So that is about how it's supposed to be. Let me see if there's anything up here that I missed. Well, just ever so slightly. Uh, Rempel Manor. Okay, no, so I got those in. And... There is a road, it's called, it's like a commercial area, I'm going to put it in, it's called um, Trinity Drive, okay, so Trinity Drive, okay, um, so commercial, I think I may put some more commercial in here. Does, it is asking for it. Let me use the marquee tool and just put the commercial in here instead. There we go, just like that. You got four blocks, I got four blocks. Okay. Actually, I'm gonna remove that. We're gonna not have commercial. Okay. There we go, just like that. That's good. And I'll put some commercial here as well. And we'll fill this in with commercial. Um, that's good for, oh, you know what? Up here is probably a good place for commercial. Just like that, perfect. Actually, all of these, yeah, all of these could be filled with commercial. I think that's going to be okay. All right. That'll give the residents some commercial area there. Some commercial areas to go shopping at. So now let me just get this lower end here. And let's see what goes in here. So from Hunter, goes straight down. So we have Hunter Road. Actually, Hunter Road continues as a small road going down. 
a straight line. Okay, good. So Hunter goes all the way. Um, I'm going to take it this way. There we go. And uh, Pringle Croix, so it does intersect with that road. Okay, so it does intersect. Okay. That is Pringle. Oh. Hunter. Okay, so that's where it actually ends at Hunter. Um, okay, I see how this is going to come around here. Collie Chuck Crescent. So that road comes down here. This is called Collie Chuck Crescent as such. And this doesn't exist. Okay. And let's see what else we'll go in here. We have Kali Chuk. Uh, okay. And we have Pringle Manor. Actually, we're going to have uh, Velt Camp Crescent. Coming through here, okay. So, Velt Camp Crescent. Is it going all the way to there? No, actually, it comes like this. Okay, that's how it goes. This comes to there. Okay, there we go, like that. So, that is the Velt Camp Crescent. Velt Camp Crescent. Velt, uh, Velt Camp, Velt Camp Crescent, okay, there we go, and I just want to make sure I've got this colored, in. oh, no, i got to color that in as well, so I'm going to extend the district down to include this part of, that part of the build as well, okay. There we go. So now I'm going to see what schools there are. I know there must be another school that goes in here uh, in the Stonebridge area. We search this area. So we got that school. Um, Sylvan Learning of Sylvan Learning of Okay, that's a little bit over. So no, actually, we do have the main school. Good thing I used the big one. Uh, let's see, secondary. See if there's any secondary school that comes in there. There is not. In real life, there isn't. But in game life, we will need one. So let me go back to schools here. Find something. So, ah, uh, okay. Okay. So, uh, St. Kateria is what is it called. So, Chief Whitecap School is a secondary school. But it didn't say so. So, um... Let me change that. Let me change its name. So, okay, that makes sense now. So this will actually be moved over because we're going to make room for a high school. And that will be the other one, uh, Chief Whitecap School. Okay, and let's get a high school in here. I'm going to put a big high school, actually. Uh, that's way too big. Uh, it's a little smaller. Like a find something a little smaller um, uh, it's not working with me too easily okay what's the population what's the capacity 1200 might want something a little larger than that um, let's see if I can move this over one more there we go oh no no that's uh, actually maybe I will keep it there maybe I will keep it there and then we'll put this school in here this will be the uh, Chief White Cap School. That's supposed to be a secondary school. I just didn't say that it was. Okay, so Chief uh, Chief White Cap School is what it's called, right? Uh, Chief White Cap School. Yes, it is. Okay, there we go. Oh, that, well, that is only a population of eleven hundred. Uh, you know what? I think I'm going to go for a little bit more. Twelve hundred. Um, 
1400. That's more like it. That is more like it. Uh, let me just copy and paste in here. Cheap white cap school. Okay, so let me just bulldoze this one and I'm going to put in a larger capacity school. Let me put this instead. There we go. That's better. There we go. I think that's going to be much better. And so I'm going to put this as residential. Okay. Well, let's see how the park is doing. Oh, we're already at a level two. So 33 people have attended the park. 671 so far. 673. And entertainment is more than enough. We're at 1378. And we only need 1120. So we're certainly good in that regard. So I think that what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go ahead and start removing the traffic lights that were put in here. I'm just going to take those out so that they don't slow traffic down. And so there. Okay. And all of these. There's none down here. Okay. And we'll just get rid of these along here as well. There we go. Just like that. And... Oh, okay, so let me just make sure I got all the traffic lights. I certainly seem to have done so, yes. Okay. Well, that is all done up. Okay. Um, so next, next item actually on the list um, that I want to do is going to be... Let's take a look at city services. Uh, how are we doing for that? So that's healthcare. That's okay. I want to put a crematorium in this area just so that it's easier for the hearses to access. Um, I just put it there. Um, so it'll be the Stonebridge Crematorium. There we go. Stonebridge uh, Crematorium. Just like that. And we'll make that random. All right. So what are the, any other city services? Um, garbage I may want to put in here. Uh, we've got an incinerator there. You know what? I think I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to put an incinerator along here. Um, I will call it the Bonavista incinerator. I'll put that over here just so that it's easier for the trucks to access that area because it is a bit far away. So the Buena... Buena Vista Incinerator Incinerator, there we go Okay Alright uh, Police coverage um, I think I will put a police station down here um, I will put it actually Along here This is a good place to go and put it in Right there And that will be The RCMP Stonebridge Detachment. The RCMP Stonebridge Detachment. This is actually going to be a fairly sized um, district, it would appear. So it should get its own police station. So, uh, so we got crematorium. Uh, medical services, I think, are okay. Uh, yeah, they are for now. I'll need another one in here, but uh, I'll put that in when we do the residentials for that area. So fire. Uh, we got a fire station there. We should put a fire station in here. Um, don't know why I haven't done so, but in any event, there we go. So that is going to be the Melville and Clarence fire. So Melville and um, Clarence Fire. Yeah, that's the correct spelling. And set it to random. There we go. That is done. Um, so schools, we should be okay. Let's check out the school situation really fast. High school capacity is fantastic. Elementary is superb. Uh, university we do not have yet, but we will have one because there is the University of Saskatchewan, which is a humongous campus. So. We may even be able to get that to a level five or a five-star campus facility, uh, which will be very suitable um, because this city will be large enough uh, to be able to handle that. Okay, uh, so um, transportation is something we're going to have to look at setting up soon as well. We're just past 9,000 people now. 
So fire services, uh, I did check that that was okay. I'm gonna put fire services in already, just get that ready. We're gonna need it here anyways. And I may put it over here instead. I think that's a better location. Yes, it is. Okay, so we'll call that the um, Vic and As uh, Asley, uh, Vic and Asley, Vic and Asley Fire. Such, and we'll make that random. There we go. Okay, so that will conclude this segment of the build of uh, Saskatoon, Saskatchewan. I will be back in 10 15 minutes, and we are going to continue our build, and I will see you then. Until then, I will actually put it on cinematic view.